Hi, this is Pete Lyons with another Let's Play Salesforce video. And today we're going to be learning how to uh, manually sort uh, grouping fields as well as custom color them. So what are we looking at right now? This is the DTC Opportunity data set that you get with any out-of-the-box uh, trailhead org. And notice that they've got this custom sorting here. And they've achieved this by putting numbers uh, before the name of each of the stages. But this is just really unsightly. And we don't want to do this, but we do want our stages to go in the correct order. So we're going to use Wave Labs and uh, the XMD editor specifically to uh, achieve this. And while we're at it, we're going to custom color our stages too. So to facilitate this, I've created a uh, custom object called Progression. And it has three stage values, beginning, beginning, middle, and end. And if I just let this sort by itself, it's going to go alphabetical. It's going to go beginning and middle. And that's not how I want it. And I don't want to have to see numbers uh, before it. I just want it to sort the way I want it to. So this is a pretty common use case. Um, let's take a look at our data flow here, see what's going on. Because first, we're going to need to create a bucket field uh, to get them in order. Um, and we are going to need to use the numbers for that. And then we'll worry about how to hide those later. So first, I'm going to create a compute expression. I'm going to call it sorted stage. Its source is going to be get progressions. Merge source is true, because we're going to keep the original columns. I'm going to name it. sorted source, and for the SACL expression, we're going to do a case statement. Uh, we're going to do case when stage equals beginning, we'll do then 0, 1, beginning. And why type more than we need to? So we're just going to do a little copy pasta here. And then swap out the other values. And while it's not technically required, I always like to provide an else value. We never know what you know the business is going to do in the future, and this list of values is effectively hard-coded, and it's not going to know what to do with anything that comes through that isn't one of these values. So I always like to add an else error. We end our case statement with end, hit save, hit save again. And now we just need to tell the register to take that as its source instead. Save, update our data flow, continue, go to the data manager. We've got this one on the secondary data flow, and hit start. There's only three rows of data, so I'm just going to spam the button until the data flow is done. And there we go. Let's hop into uh, Einstein Analytics tab, take a look at our progressions data set. First, we're going to group it by stage, and then we're going to group it by sorted stage. OK. So notice, on the right-hand side, we are holding the correct sort order that we want. But if we move that up, and now we're sorting just by stage, we see this is the problem here. It goes beginning and middle. And that's not what we want. See? Beginning and middle. We want it beginning, middle, end. Now we need to get rid of the 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 3. So for that, we're going to use Wave Labs. Go to waves-labs.herokuapp.com, 
This is a trailhead.org, so I log in with production creds and go to the XMD editor. Open my data set. I want to go to the dimensions, come down to sorted stage, and I need to start adding members. My first member is going to be 01 beginning. Let's make this red. and we want it to be labeled beginning. So what this is going to do is it's going to override the value of anything that's 0, 1 beginning and display beginning. But the system is still going to look at the underlying value as being 0, 1 beginning, which will maintain the sort order that we want. Next, we want to grab 0, 2 middle. We want to label it middle. Let's make this one cyan. Oh, I guess uh, that one's green. Okay. I don't really have a lot of hex codes memorized. Then let's do 0, 3, end. I want to label it as end. And we'll do... Zero 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 FF loop. Go ahead, save our XMD, hop back in, and close out of this and reopen it. So now we group by stage, we get that wrong order we don't want. When we, we add the second grouping of sorted stage, there are our custom colors. Notice on the right, the legend is sorting in the correct order, but we're still not seeing the uh, the values sort, or uh, we're still not seeing the, the left side sorted in the correct order, and that's because our primary grouping is still stage. Now, we can't do custom color on the horizontal bar chart um, by itself, but if we do drop that grouping, we can see we do have beginning, middle, end going in the correct order. And if we change our visualization type that supports custom colors, we'll see that the custom colors are functioning correctly. So uh, that's all there is to it. Um, if you enjoyed this video or learned anything, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if there's any tutorials that you'd like to see, feel free to give me a shout. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.